So in this video, I wanted to briefly talk about cleaning out your fountain pen converters. I know a lot of people like to keep their fountain pens extremely clean. And one of the components that's difficult to clean is the converter. A lot of times you get a situation like this where you have a relatively clean converter. It's pretty easy to clean it out with some water, but behind the plunger, you get a little bit of ink or water or inky water, or watery ink, whatever you have back there. And no matter what you do, it kind of doesn't want to come out. You shake it. You can't really get a Q-tip back there uh, just by design. And then it's behind the plunger. So, uh, you know, you can't get a paper towel back there. And if you were to put the plunger all the way to the top, it doesn't squeeze out and it's kind of just bothering you. Here I have a uh, Lamy, I believe this is a Z28, maybe it's a Z24, can't quite remember. Uh, but anyway, this is a pretty good example of a converter where that's happened. Here's another one, this is Lamy Z26, Z25, whatever. And you can see it's the same thing. This water is a little bit inkier, but it's the same situation. And uh, if you're putting in a lighter color ink, this could be a problem. If you just like to keep your components extremely clean, then it's a problem as well. Uh, what I'll say is that it's not really obvious how to clean these out, but you almost always can. And the situation is usually similar from one to the other, uh, from one converter to the next, uh, but not always the same. So be careful. Uh, but here's how I'll do it with a Lamy converter. I'll use this one. And uh, what you want to do is basically you're separating out the two halves of this, basically the upper matter and this column is, uh, they will, they will separate somehow. You want to twist this. It looks like you can twist it very rare that you can just twist it off. Maybe with some standard international converters, you could twist it off, but usually it's a pulling action. So you want to pull the two parts away from each other. That can be really difficult because they're tiny and maybe they're a little bit wet. So you could use something to get you some extra grip. You could wrap some tape around this. Uh, I like to use a uh, some sort of glove, it could be a vinyl glove, latex glove, uh, whatever you have. Uh, you don't have to put the glove on if you don't want. Uh, what you wanna do is get half of it and wrap this, grab the metal surround right here and the other hand hold the plastic piece and you're gonna just twist and pull. And with enough pressure and some patience, you'll be able to pull off this metal piece. It's always harder the first time around. This one I've done only once, but it's only gonna be harder the first time. And now you can see there's actually uh, this full plastic column goes up to here, and then there's the black piece and the red piece, which is just what twists the plunger. Now you can separate them further, but don't pull the red because this screw piece is very sensitive. This red piece, this cap or whatever it is, is attached to that. So if you pull the red, you're probably just going to break it. You really want to pull this black piece and separate it out from this plastic piece here. Again, we'll get the glove, either put it on or put your hands in it. What you don't want to do is hold the glove like this because then you have two pieces of glove and they are just, they're just going to be uh, rubbing against each other and you won't have any grip. So again, either get one piece or put the glove on. And we're just going to pull that. And there you have it. So now what do we have here? We have the column, which you can now either just shake out or you can get a Q-tip in there, clean it out. And we have our plunger piece here. It's in pretty good shape. You can see it still works, which is nice. This thing you could shake off or clean out, whatever. And uh, when you put it back together, you could put it together with a little bit of silicon grease around the plunger and a little bit at the top. Or if it's a relatively new cartridge, you, you probably don't have to. But to put it back together, we will make sure, you know, make believe we cleaned it out entirely. Put this in here. And you could see if there's, it looks like there's a little notch right here. There's no uh, notch on the black thing. So you don't have to worry about that. Some other cartridges, or some, some other converters might have a matching notch. Uh, the Lamy doesn't happen to have one. So you're going to get it and put it in. 
Got a nice little click action there. It didn't really take much force at all. Now you're gonna put on this metal band. And the metal band is actually what locks it in. There's not a lot of pressure here, but it's just plastic on plastic. So that's why it was so easy to take in, uh, to push in and take out. But once you go here, now you get some nice pressure. It's locked in and now that plastic here with that little crease, it can't expand out. And now we have a nice seal here. You see the liquid going with it and it works well. And we have a fully clean, I mean, I missed it here, so clearly do a better job cleaning, but now you could have a very clean cartridge. And that process would be basically the same for any of your fountain pen cartridges. I would just say, make sure you get the inside as watery as possible uh, before you clean it out. Sometimes that's impossible. You just get some ink back here and you can't get any water. But if you're doing it with something like this, where it's a much higher percentage of ink to water, then uh, you wanna make sure you do it in a clean area. Otherwise you can make a real mess. But yeah, that's how you clean out behind the plunger of a fountain pen converter. Thanks for watching.